Hello there, Cancer. Welcome into your tarot card message for today, July 29th, 2022. I thank you for being here. I hope all is well with you. It is a beautiful day. I give thanks. So these are general messages, so they may not all apply to all of you. So some of you may be feeling sad, all right, or you feel down or you feel like something is missing or something is delayed. You may be feeling unsure about yourself. You may just not know how to trust yourself right now. Right? In making certain decisions. It could be about your faith. I feel like you could use some reassurance or some encouragement to go forth upon your journey. That's what you could use. Some encouragement. We saw I saw the strength card. Some of you could even be crying because you feel like you lost something, someone, cancer. You could be dealing with a Pisces in some way or you feel like something is a secret, something is a mystery. You may be thinking about your own life path, why you're here, what you need to do to go forward. You just, I feel like you need some encouragement. The Two of Cups is the encouragement that you receive. You feel like you have a lot to bear. You decided to move, to move forward, to start over. You've been through a whole lot. The burdens you bear are sometimes heavy and maybe it is the way that you brought them. You, you carried them. But you, you, I feel like you moved or you, you, you came to a place where you feel like, yes, I have arrived somewhere. But now you're thinking... <sighs> Like, it feels like, like, what do I do now or should I keep going forward? It It's the energy of fear or anxiety or it's just like you come up on a, up on a road and maybe you're at a crossroads and you're wondering... Like, what do I do now? I don't know. Something like that. You just you want to keep moving forward, but you want that encouragement to do so, that prompt, that... So, so the encouragement could be what lays in your future. You've got to have a vision. So, you may be wondering why you feel sad, why you feel drained, like, why do I feel this way? Do I have a real reason? Okay, do I have a real reason to doubt myself? So something is also making you self-aware. You're just at a place where you feel like you're almost there, you're accomplished, or you've accomplished something great, right? But it's like you take the burden off your back, set it down, you're looking around like, you may even want to cry for a little bit, that's all right. Whew. You will find the encouragement to move forward. You have all the energy that it requires to keep moving forward. You've got this. You're not out of energy. You're, you're managing. You're more than managing this. You've arrived. How you feel now is you <clears throat> literally releasing for the next phase. You may not even know this. So that's, that is why you're also becoming self-aware here in this time where you may feel heaviness because it is to continue onward, there's something to be released, to let go. And you're going to move forward quickly, swiftly, swoosh, like easily, like you're, on, you're in another dimension, another phase, another era. It requires different energy. You don't have the load anymore, you see. So you move from the Ten of Swords, or of, of Wands, to the page. So you're letting go off of a lot of things. It's like you've made them into one, or you figured out how to put things together so it's easier to bear for you. Right? So you're just in a moment, a phase of release, like burning release. I don't know what this is. It is something. It could be anger. It could be exercise. But you're going to be lighter. 
as you move forward because is that you're going to be moving bur like a burning desire kind of energy or freer, lighter, you're more gas than weight, you're light. Or it is as if you've arrived at a place now where it takes less work, less struggle to move forward. It's giving me the energy of Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. Like, for example, imagine she came up, she come up to uh, at a point or even Alice in Wonderland, something like that. You come up on a point where you have to change in order to move forward. And when you do move forward, it's a different feeling. Right. Some of you are going to be making love because this is the energy of a lover coming around. Maybe this is going to help you to release, to be able to, I don't know, but take your power back. And you're making some commitment with yourself or with another person to move forward. This could be about money. You could be getting money or you're paying someone some money. So you're making commitments. Here are some love making. Oh, so we see the magician. What is this? This could be about sex, sex magic, perhaps. It's something about your energy. So, you know, become mindful and self aware because not all the feelings that you feel are yours. Because is this and this much someone doing magic on cancer's energy? I don't know. I don't know. Who is this person or thing? You know what, Cancer? It could be City Ten of um, Wands. It could be time for you to probably even be upset, be angry. Really release certain jealous energy, envy, some hateful fucking energies that may be surrounding you or trying to drain you. Oh, this could be about family. This could be a Pisces or not. I don't know. This could be about a Pisces. This could be about a grandmother energy or some spirit form. What is the Six of Pentacles? This is a street magician card for me, you know. You know? This could be an earth sign. Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. This person could be manipulative, maybe in the way they speak. Just be mindful. Pay attention to yourself. Get that higher view of yourself from inside out. Because it's like people... I don't know if you believe in magic or if you believe people can actually affect your energy. But sometimes when you wake up feeling a certain way, it's not necessarily your vibration. I feel like you should protect yourself first thing in the mornings before you go to bed at night kind of vibration. Just for your own energy. Especially if you're doing tarot and stuff like that. Or if you have family or society or that talk about you. Is this family? Is this family? People from your past. People that you expose. I feel it's power lines. Like it could be communication. It could be like the wi-fi also yeah so be mindful of that be mindful of the time you spend online and the time you spend downloading information it may drain your energy and it may f with your stability or sense of self and how to go forward so maybe spend some time in meditation in deep contemplation 
of yourself spend some time with yourself here cancer for today that's the energy what is the four of cups I feel like you're going to be seeing yourself like apart, separate from the pain and the heaviness and the everything else that you've gone through, the hurt, the backstabbing. You're going to be able to look at yourself differently, like separately. And you feel happy, joyful, abundant. <clears throat> but then you can see your pain body as well. And... The way you're looking at your pain body is it's not like you're feeling sad for yourself or anything. So this is your higher pers perspective looking at you. You're about to heal yourself, possibly the chariot energy. I don't know how. You're going to heal. You're going to help yourself because whatever is keeping you stuck in stable is that part of you, that pain body part of you, that ten of swords that still feels hurt, injured injured and heavy and burdened and like people betray you you don't know who to trust people talk about you you don't know how to move forward what to do maybe this is about who you're spending your money with that that is keeping you stuck could be dealing with a virgo a loved one could be about a pisces or an enemy that's trying to keep you stuck with magic. <laughs> but when you become aware, self-aware, when the truth is exposed, it, it it lessens the effect of the magic. It's like it has no power, really. This is what we're doing right now. Healing and restoring and becoming higher by through awareness of whatever magic or power seem to have been holding your energy down because it's not for real it's not for real like you're not sad for real you're not tired for real you like you at your core self you're happy you're grateful you may have concerns you may have dreams but aren't things working out for you like haven't you seen things working out like what are you really afraid of check your energy to see if it is yours or someone else's so you're, I feel like you're going, you're, you're going to be okay. You're going to be well, fine, well and fine upon your journey. Someone may have been doing energy work behind your back. You know what I mean? Like I said, so who is this person? I hear justice. Could be a group of people, like a group of women or a group could be police, could be people watching you. It could be what people are thinking of you or trying to do. Like someone could even be thinking of you in a particular way and their thoughts are, are so intense. It fucks up your energy, so really protect yourself. Wear your crystals. I, I'm, I'm, and I'm getting goosebumps just by saying wear your crystals. Wear them. All right, to protect your energy. Keep your energy grounded so you know you move forward more shortly. It's going to make you more intentional upon your journey. There's supposed to be money coming around to you, but maybe you're so distracted by other things. Like this, a large amount of money may be moving to you or maybe that you're, you're spending or investing. What is the tower? Something corrupt is ending. For sure. Death. I don't know if someone died, if someone will die. So, I'm sorry, I don't know. Is or some angel or some spirit or there's a transition going on. It's like trying to feel the energy. Something will be like flushed out, like toxins will be removed or exposed or those trying to plot against you will be exposed to meet these ones, trying to confuse you. But I didn't know you were a geisha, something like that. When I was a geisha, he was a samurai, 
somehow I understood him when he spoke Thai. He never spoke lies and he never broke lines. That's so much just because I'm ready to save him. This could be about love. Like, this could be you trying to just do your business, take care of yourself. And there's this person that's toxic from your past. In some way, for some of you that think that is thinking about you sexually or obsessively, and it's effing with your energy, it feels like just a stress on your neck. You just probably need to go to the spa or do a hot stone on your neck or something to just get rid of this person's vibration. This could be family, this could be a person that you loved in the past, or someone that loved you, it could be fellow Watterson, could be Pisces person that like this person is just wanting you to come back to them you're probably not even thinking about relationships right so that is why you're not thinking that this is this person or this is what is happening because you're thinking about your dreams and so on fulfilling your dreams going on your journey even if you want to meet someone new but there's this past person that wants to have you back <sighs> just cut ties with them because they just they want to come around and they make love to you um, this and if and this could be someone new, like this could be a distraction from your new person as well. This so called drained energy because look, there's love for you, there's real love, but this could just be the work of some some trying to make you feel like you're sad or low on energy, maybe because that is how they feel or some someone, or if someone is dealing with some conflicting feelings, right? This drama that they want to get you involved in. But you're like. You, you probably don't want to be involved in this drama. I feel this is about you having boundaries. And knowing what you want. Because you may let people in your space too easily. How do I say that differently? You should be more like this. Like st This feels like. Me, being made of steel or something like this is proper confidence self-reliance this is like wealth like you were born a rich person a royalty so, so it's not like you have shame and guilt and people can tell you what to do people can come in your energy space no you were you, you you are intelligent you're wise you're rich you're wealthy you know what you want out of life and you keep going forward for it, what others say or do doesn't really affect you. It's like someone wanted you to have this weak ass energy, like so that they could probably walk all over you, have their way with you. Like you know, I feel like boss. Oh look, this is you becoming empowered inside out. Kame ame vibration, Goku energy. Bla like something is being blasted away because you it's like you need to wake up and realize that you are the gift, you are the prize, you are the one in control here. Of your life, of your money, of your will, your desires. Not this thing. Not being stuck in the past, indecisive, doubtful, afraid. You know? Maybe so you're afraid that you will lose or... But if you feel that way, it's like you, you've given in this... Anywho... We're leaving these messages here. A lot of money on the table for you in these general messages. You making some kind of alignment or vow commitment to yourself to keep moving forward. Um, you wanted that encouragement and I feel like you've got this. And this is not your energy. You can beat this energy, overcome this energy, do what you need to do. Get sunlight. It's Get sunlight, drink water, take care of yourself. Like a lot of wealth, new life, new beginnings, prosperity. You moving, clearing your thoughts. Changing your belief patterns and just keep heading forward. Sharing your journey with others as well. Your natural self. All that you've been through. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. There all is well. All is within you. Remember to protect your energy. I may share an energy protection kit in the description box below with you. Take care.